Hello and good day to you second grade. Mr. Tang here with week six lesson one. How many hundreds, tens, and ones? Our objective today is that we will be able to represent three digit numbers by using expanded form, place value notation, and equations in order to understand place value. Now understanding place value is going to be a foundational understanding of pretty much everything we do in math. And here's one of your first chances because um, you will be taking a look at um, the way we represent numbers all throughout the rest of your years in elementary school and beyond. So we are going to be taking a look at expanded form, place value notation, and equations. Let's start off today by looking at a few expressions. We have four of them here to be exact, and as you're looking at them, we want you just to compare each value to 200. Is it less than, greater than, or equal to the value of 200? For example, let's look at the first one, 100 plus 100. Were you able to answer that really quickly? How does that compare to the value of 200? How do you know? So take a moment and kind of think through these for all these expressions. 140 plus 50, 20 plus 190, 30 plus 170. Remember to be sure to ask yourself, can I explain this? How do you know if it's less than, greater than, or equal to 200? A big part of what we're doing today is reading and representing three-digit numbers. So for our next activity, Mr. Pizek's going to give us some insight on what we're going to be doing. Today, we will work on reading and representing three-digit numbers. To do this, we are either going to roll a die or flip cards to create our three-digit numbers. As you're working, think about and discuss the values of each digit. For our example today, I'm going to use the number 342. I can represent that number as a picture, in expanded form, and also in words. Let's take a look. In a picture, I'm going to represent the 300, since there's a 3 in the hundreds place, as three flats. Then I'm going to represent the 4 in the tens place as 40 with four rods. And then I'm going to represent the two in the ones place as two units. So my picture shows 342. This can help me also write my expanded form because I'm going to write each place value by itself. The first place value is 300. So I'm going to write 300. To that, I'm going to add 40, since there's a four in the tens place. And finally, a two, one in the ones place. Finally, we'll represent it in word form. When I say the number, I write the number as it sounds. So I have 342. Practice some on your own and talk with somebody about the place values as you draw your picture, write your expanded form, and write it in word form. Good luck. Thanks, Mr. Pizek. Hey, first graders, feel free to take a picture of this or if you have the ability to, pause this and use this as reference. We're also going to kind of review this coming up right now. So in review, we roll to get our number. This number is slightly different. It's 324 instead of 342. So in our picture form, we can use our flats, our rods, and our units to represent our number using pictures. In our expanded form, we're taking it out and putting it in the different place value, hundreds, tens, and ones. 
and a word form is exactly how we would say it. Think about the value of the three. What place value is it in? How much is it worth? What's the value of the two? And what's the value of the four? Notice in each representation how each of those values are represented. Let's take a look at our two. The value of the two is 20. In picture form, that can be represented with the two rods. In expanded form, 20. And in our word form, it can be found within 24, that's the word 20. As you finish up the read and represent activity, there are a few other activities found in your resource packet. The first being represent three digit numbers. You have one or two of your columns filled out for each number. Your job is to fill in the rest of it. The next activity is color on a number chart. You're going to read each riddle and color the answer to each riddle on the number chart. And then finally, comparing three digit numbers. Circle three of the numbers below and work through the rest of the worksheet. Well, boys and girls, I hope you find place value as much fun as I do. And if you don't, maybe you will one day. Try to see if you can explain it to yourself and others around you. Well, until next time, stay safe, wash your hands, stay inside.